So KPPI is massively up. What's happening to the stock? Where is it headed? What should you do if you own the stock? Check this video out. Go! Hi, I'm Dan. Please subscribe to Sir Martin Herman. Okay. YouTube channel. Parang awa nyo na, please. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The best, the best. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, it's the lunch break on a Thursday afternoon. Uh, of course, we had a quick, uh, I don't know, we had a quick holiday yesterday. That's why there was no trading. And over the past few days, I got a lot of questions talking about what's happening to KPPI, all, all predicated on the IPO that happened just a few days back. You have to remember, uh, when, when they released disclosures about having the IPO, I mentioned that number one. This is a very, 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 very small IPO. Even though fundamentally earnings are not there, the thing about that is this: the Golden Haven IPO was only 700 million uh, pesos when they when they went out. No, that's one thing. But the KPPI is lesser than that, 300 million. Uh, what does that mean? What does it have? What does that mean? What does it have to do with everything? If if the stock is small. If the IPO is small, here's the thing. There's a group of people who will buy a large block of shares already of the stock and not actually sell them. So the smaller the stock, mas konte yung shares na umikot dun sa stock na yun, mas konte yung shares na umikot sa stock na yun, it's easier also for the stocks to move up. So that, sh that should be the rule of thumb that you could follow for even uh, the next IPOs that we will have. No? More, the larger the IPO, the larger the IPO, the harder for it to actually go up. The larger the IPO, it would be uh, more shares moving around and it would have a harder time to go up. The smaller ones, similar to this one, um, normally zoom up faster because supply and demand. More buyers bring the prices up, supply and demand. More people not selling. The ones that have and that wants to, the one that wants to buy their shares will have to buy it at a, at a higher price. So there, chart-wise, if you look at it, uh, Looking at it from a day-to-day -day candle, you know my stylist, I like looking at it from day-to-day -day candlesticks. No, my stylist basically just looking at it from uh, from the opening to the closing of the day. But the style there and the narrative is basically this. You have two large candles. If you include the third day-to-day, -day, you have three large candles which are pretty much bullish. If you look at it from an early early chart or mini chart, you will see that the stock is also progressing much, 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 much higher. Uh, the thing about technicals is this. The smaller, the... The smaller the sample size of data, you have to remember the whole context of technicals is past prices plotted into charts. We only have three days still of past prices, meaning technicals at this point in time is not as strong as compared to other stocks that are have data for one, two, three, four, five, five plus years already. The longer, uh, the longer the technicals, the longer the past prices, the longer and stronger the movements of the stocks are, and that's what we don't have yet. All we can rely on as of now. Are the candlesticks all we can rely on as of now are the large movement of the candlesticks so why am I saying this uh, first of all congratulations to those who made money uh, from KPPI congratulations to those who were able to position well congratulations to those who did well in this trade and those who took the risk also when the stock was way above already the 9 10 peso level for those who took risks congratulations because at the end of the day you know my stock market the market will reward you for those who, for those people who would want to take risks the market will reward you for those who will take bets that majority of the people uh, who are more conservative are not willing to take that so for those who were able to buy higher and are still making money now congratulations to all of you what I would suggest though is this, number one, and similar to the main objective of every style and every narrative is that but we should not be emotional, meaning either you don't give in to fear, you don't give in to greed, you set your sell signals, whatever they may be. For those who are using technicals, it could be red candles, it could be a large red candle that will cause it to start for sellings to happen. Uh, that could be your signal or later on you start for, you wait for it to develop a certain range where it starts to consolidate and that's where you sell also. But what's important is this. For me, it's okay that you don't get to sell it at the highest price. That's not that's not the main goal, it's not the main narrative. The more important thing, the more important feature and facet that you need to follow is uh, you need to know, you need to find ways on, hmm, this is my style, this is my narrative, this is my trigger to sell, and you will only sell when this hits because if you do not do that, 
mas mag, mas madali maging emotional, mas madali magbenta pag kinakabahan na kayo na, oy sayang naman pera na baka baka maging bato pa. I I say this over and over and over and over and over and over again. It's okay that you don't sell it at the top as long as you follow your plan. It's okay to sell it lower than what what the highest point is as long as you follow what your strategy is because when you follow a strategy you follow a template you follow logic it's something that you can replicate and it's something that you can do over and over and over and over and over again but now it's not the time to be emotional now it's not the time also to give in to greed now it's not the time also to give in to fear the best way for you to be able to maximize this is to follow what your strategy is for those who set percentages on when to sell for those of you who set also price targets on when to sell when they get hit you sell and when they get hit you get out and that's how it is and here's the thing magkakaroon tayo ng iba-ibang exit points so some people sold already at 10 some people bought at 10 some people are selling now some people sold at 15 some people sold at 14 some people sold less than that some people sold at 8 pesos per share but the main goal is as long as you sell based on what your strategy is telling you you will always win when that happens you will always win when your narrative is following your plan especially if it's predicated on technical and fundamental analysis now for those who want to be long-term investors in the stock here's here's what's interesting uh, if you are a long-term investor and the stock is up massively stick your plan be a long-term investor do not sell too quick especially if you're a long-term investor do not let your emotions tick in for, do not keep on refreshing your screens also the more you refresh your screen the more you monitor the more emotional you will be so i guess that's it for now i'm, I'm talking to the ones in youtube first i hope this video helps you trade well and because really the heart of this is i really want you to maximize your money i really want you to earn and earn and earn and earn mass again i really believe the stock market is one of the greatest ways for you to earn and i really believe the stock market is one of the best ways for you to make money over the long term so this is marvin Girmo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you.